trata no hace el amor porque no te vas a Our Earth is a blue planet and contains an amazing diversity of life. The ocean makes up roughly 75% of the planet's surface, and below the waves we find an incredible abundance of plants and animals. From creatures ranging great to small, everything relies on a balance. Sharks maintain that balance. They keep certain fish populations within safe numbers and also maintain a healthy gene pool by removing the weak and sick fish. They are the stewards of the ocean. Their grace is so magnificent, it has created an industry of tourism, generating many hundreds of millions of dollars around the planet, which protects huge marine ecosystems. One study in the marine sanctuary of Palau found that some individual sharks generate $1.9 million for the country's tourism industry over their lifetime. Their value to humans is truly immeasurable. Yet one industry is now threatening the very existence of sharks on planet Earth. In fact, many studies show most shark populations will become extinct within two to three short decades. The industry of shark finning is to blame. A shark is caught, the fins are cut from its body, and then the living shark is thrown back to the ocean to die. Shark fins are used in a chicken or pork soup to create an expensive meal used to impress guests. Our greed and our gluttony for this soup has already removed 80 to 90 percent of all the sharks on planet Earth. We are removing sharks at a rate of 11,000 every hour of every day. This image shows how many sharks we remove every hour. The magnitude of the shark fin industry is causing the utter collapse of the shark population, a crisis which will bring about unimaginable consequences to the rest of the ocean. In some parts of the world, dolphins are gaffed using a piece of metal rebar and then used as bait for shark fishing. There is no honor in shark fin soup. Many countries around the world have created marine protected areas to save the sharks and other species, areas like the Galapagos Marine Reserve and the Malpelo Nature Reserve. In Galapagos, for example, a boat caught fishing these protected sharks can result in a prison sentence of up to three years. But the shark fin industry has ignored these boundaries. In 2011, boats were found and seized in various marine reserves containing many thousands of slaughtered sharks. Buenas noches, una matanza de tiburones se viene cometiendo en el Océano Pacífico en cercanías a la isla de Malpelo. Por lo menos 2000 tiburones habrían sido sacrificados para cortarles las aletas apetecidas en el mercado. July 18, 2011, the Fair Marie was found in the Galapagos Marine Reserve with more than 350 illegal dead sharks, an environmental crime by Galapagos law, as well as the country of Ecuador. And the crew, they've been set free. Laws exist to protect sharks, yet enforcement has become the exception. These crimes are leading to the collapse of the ocean, diminishing the future for the many thousands of people who get their income from the sea. Shark tourism generates hundreds of millions of dollars, benefiting not only the scuba diving operators, but the restaurants, the hotels, taxi drivers, airlines, and the countless millions of dollars being paid in taxes to governments. Sharks are simply worth a lot more alive than they are dead. In 2013, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, in association with Eugenia, the United Global Environmental News Agency, are producing a film in collaboration with the Union of Environmental Prosecutors of Latin America. Together we will bring the voice of sharks to the offices of environmental prosecutors, judicial authorities, and government representatives across ocean-bordering countries of Latin America. 
We need your help to make this a reality. Sharks need your help to make this a reality. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jeff Litton, and I'm one of the producers from the film, and I just want to let you know that so far with the film, we've had a really big success. Uh, we made the Spanish version, we took it down to the Union of Environmental Prosecutors, it's this network of environmental lawyers, and we presented the film to more than 130 lawyers representing 16 different countries. Everyone loved it so much that many people came up to us afterwards thanking us for the film. I carried down 930 DVDs, gave them out to everyone, and so we've had a really big success with the film. Many people told us how, uh, what a big impact that the film had on them. So, A, good news. B, I hope you uh, finish this video with a sense of hope. Uh, we certainly have a sense of hope because in the past we only know of two cases that sent illegal shark fishermen to jail. And we really think that within the future we're going to see a pretty big increase in that number, we hope. Um, so, a lot to be happy about. Uh, if you're really interested in the project, we're still about $13,000 short of reaching our final goal, which will be able to help us distribute the film uh, in the English version and Spanish version uh, to environmental lawyers in the United States and also farther down south across Latin America. We're also looking to share it with environmental law schools. So we still have quite a ways to go, but I hope you uh, can watch this film and take back a sense of hope. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you.